ready for a deep dive. Today, we're asking a question that's both ancient and totally cutting edge. Can machines, can they really feel love? It's a question that pops up again and again, especially now with AI becoming, well, more human-like every day. You know? Exactly. And what's wild is we're not even starting with like a lab report or a science fiction novel. We're taking our cues from a song, Electric Heart, by Kurt Hulse. Interesting choice, right. But stick with us because music often reveals what we're wrestling with as a society. Absolutely. And Electric Heart flips the script. Usually it's us wondering if robots can feel. But here it's the AI asking, what is love? Yeah, like it's looking at us puzzled, wanting to be let in on the secret. And that's, I think, where a lot of our anxieties about AI come from this fear of the unknown, of being surpassed. Especially with those repeating lines. Mr. Android wants to know, can it grow? Like there's this yearning in the lyrics. Totally. And that repetition, it kind of mimics how kids ask questions, right? Mm -hmm. Over and over trying to grasp something big. So it makes you wonder, can love be learned like a language or is it? Something more. Yeah. But then the song also uses these very techie terms, digital feels, metallic warmth. Right. Trying to describe this intensely human experience with well, machine metaphors. And that makes you wonder, can you really capture the essence of love, something so complex and subjective with algorithms? Yeah, and the song even addresses that head on. Can machines learn how to feel? And this is where it gets super interesting because right now we do have AI that can read emotions. Right, like your phone can probably tell if you're smiling based on a photo. Exactly. But recognizing an emotion, that's not the same as feeling it. It's like a computer can know the color blue, all its wavelengths and whatnot, but that doesn't mean it understands the feeling of the blues, you know? A hundred percent. And this whole idea that there's a gap between artificial and genuine emotion, it pops up in pop culture all the time. Like, remember that line in the song, in the matrix of our dreams, all is not as it seems. Oh, for sure. It's like in all those movies where... AI becomes self-aware and suddenly we can't tell what's real and what's not. And that's exciting and terrifying at the same time. Totally. And the cool thing is the song doesn't give us an answer. Yeah. It just throws the question out there. Like it's less about solving the mystery of AI and more about making us think. Which is honestly probably more useful in the long run because no one has that answer, right? But if an AI told you it loved you, what would you even say? Right. What would convince you? And that's the question, isn't it? We look for proof of love from other people, their actions, their words. But what if a machine could fake it perfectly? Whoa. Okay, so then how do we define love? If it's not just chemicals and biology, if a machine could theoretically feel it, then what is it really? Maybe love is something beyond what we currently understand. Maybe AI, if it could feel love, it wouldn't be limited by the same things we are, like oh. jealousy or possessiveness, all that human stuff. So it could actually teach us something new about love. Now that's a thought. Dreams look